Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part seven of my WordPress theme tutorial, where I will teach you how to change this basic HTML CSS file into this working WordPress theme that you see here on the screen. Well, here is where I left you off last time, but by the end of this tutorial, this is what you're going to see instead of seeing this mess here. Well, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to obviously style the menu, and I'm going to style everything inside of here. In the previous tutorial, we styled this, and we also styled the footer and all these other different pieces. So now I gotta get in here and fix everything else up. What I'm gonna do is from my previous tutorial, which I'll provide a link to, this was the basic plain Jane, easiest way to learn how to make WordPress themes tutorial. I created this menu bar. I use this every single time. I just make minor changes here and there. So I'm just gonna copy that code and I am over here inside of style.css and I'm gonna paste all that in there. Then what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to have to change the background. As you can see, there's this background right here that looks kind of nice. I'm gonna have to get all the code for that background. That is previously done in a previous tutorial. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to menu.css that I used whenever I first created this guy, and I'm gonna scroll down until I come to background right here. This is the background that we used whenever we created the CSS slash HTML version of this site. So I'm gonna copy that, and then I'm gonna jump over into the theme that we're currently working on, and I'm gonna go and paste those backgrounds in here. So inside of navigation right here where it says background, I'm gonna highlight that, and I'm gonna paste in my new background inside of there. And then another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the border on this. And basically that's all I'm doing. I'm just making a couple cosmetic changes. You're going to be amazed. This is actually what I consider beautiful about web design is taking this ugly looking thing and all of a sudden adding a couple lines of code and it's beautiful. So this is the most fun part of the tutorial series for me. And it also probably is kind of fun for you if you're really into web design that is. Then I'm going to come down here, change padding on this menu bar to zero pixels. And I'm going to scroll down. Like I said, every single time you're only going to be changing a couple things with this menu bar code. And there's a link to all of this code in the underbar. This is the next place where you're going to be changing this code. Inside here for the color, I'm going to be editing editing the D4FF. I give this like a bluish color and this will be whenever you hover over the menu bar. And then after that, I'm going to paste in all of my new background styling. Text shadow is going to stay exactly the same. However, I'm going to be changing these borders. And I also do not need to mess around with the Z index in this situation. So I'm going to go border dash right. And this is going to put a little bit of a border on the right side of this guy whenever somebody hovers over it. Make it solid. X. O, B, 3, 8, 6, F. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put a border also on the left. And it's going to actually have this color right here. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that inside of there. And then I just keep on scrolling down to the very bottom here. And I'm going to have to change the coloring on the background again for the hover. So I just change it to that and get rid of that semicolon. Color is going to stay the same. Text shadow is going to stay the same. Except I'm going to put in a border bottom, one pixel, solid. I got that guy in there again. I'm going to copy this again except I'm gonna change this to border top. See, so yeah, there's just a couple cosmetic little changes here. Actually, the top's gonna to have this color, and then this color right here is going to be my OB386F again. So that's all I need to change there. Another little thing that I'm gonna do here is whenever you put in the thumbnails for your posts or your pages or whatever, very often inside of WordPress, those things get positioned wrong. So I'm going to fix that right now. I'm going to provide some styling right here inside of my style sheet. Anytime somebody aligns an image either centered, right, or left. So how I'm going to do that, I'm going to say display. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to click on this. And then if I click on this, see how this is this thumbnail is positioned in here and the text is butted up next to it, but there's a little bit of a border. This is how this styling is going to come together. I'm actually going to show you how to do that. And then we'll be done with our style.css file altogether. So I'm going to go margin left, auto, margin right, auto. So that's going to provide for a centering option. And I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to target anytime somebody tries to align center. I'm going to leave that exactly the same. Come down here, image, and I'm going to go in for align right. In this situation, I'm going to provide padding around this thumbnail so that it looks really nice. And I'm also going to display it in line so that it just melds in with everything else. Get rid of this margin. Place it with zero, zero, two pixels, seven pixels, and then padding. 
all around the image of four pixels. That's going to be nice. And I'm also going to come in here for a line right, and then I'm just going to change this to float right. And I'm going to copy this guy, and then do the same thing for a line left. In this situation, I'm just going to change this to seven pixels. And if you don't know, in a, which I figure if you're in a tutorial this advanced, you probably do, this is top, right, bottom, left, what I'm styling here inside of this guy. And I'm just going to change this to zero pixels. And then the padding is going to be exactly the same. And I'm going to copy this guy and change this to a line left, and then change this to float left. Beautiful. Our style.css file is all changed. Now what I'm going to do is I got to go into the functions.php file for our theme and tell WordPress to look for a menu. You might think that's real complicated, but it's not. What I'm going to do here first is just make sure that my function that I'm about ready to call actually exists, which basically means do they have a fairly current version of WordPress is what I'm asking here. So I'm checking if register nav menus exist. Close that off. Tab in. And if it does, nav menus. Now I'm going to go tell WordPress to put main menu on the screen. Main navigation. And that's it. So file save that for functions.php. That's all you got to do to make sure that this guy works. And if we jump over into header.php, see where it says main menu right here? Well, jump over into functions, main menu. So that's those two things have to be identical. Other than that, you don't really have to worry about anything else. And if I file save those two things and reload it, you see that nothing has changed here. Well, that's because you haven't gone inside of WordPress and told it to change. So you have to go into WP Admin, log in, and then under Appearance and Menus in your left sidebar, you have to come into Main Navigation and just click on Sample Menu and Save. Now if we jump back out to Random Site, you can see here that the menu is all set up. Let me zoom in on it. Here's the menu. See, everything is all working all beautifully now. So we have a finished menu inside of our nice little theme. Let's jump out of that, fix everything else. So I'm just gonna leave this guy open on the right side and you're gonna be able to watch all my changes. Another thing I need to do is from the previous coded HTML CSS file, I'm gonna need to open up home.css and select everything and copy it. And then jump over here where we're working on our theme. Go file, new text document paste all that in there and then we're going to, have to save this in a proper place which is going to be in our CSS directory for our theme. So right here and this guy is going to be called home.css and then save that and now it's time to come in here and fix everything else about this website. You're going to watch it happen right here on your screen. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come into the height section and I'm going to change this to auto. That way it's going to automatically resize itself based off of how much space is needed for all your content. And then I'm gonna come into minimum height and define a minimum height of 1200 pixels. So gotta change that. Then under post lists, I need to put in a margin right so that there's positioning and there's everything is set up right for that to provide for space in the sidebar. 330 pixels, that's nice. And where did I get that? Well, I got it from down here, so I don't need that anymore. So I'm just gonna put that with zero at this point. And I'm also gonna come in here and let margin left be zero. Nothing else needs to change there. Now we'll scroll up here, post title, which is gonna be the stuff that comes inside of here. Well, they're all gonna be links. So I have to change that to that. Now I'm gonna be targeting on links and then text decoration. And I'm gonna change this to none so that there's no underlines on my links. Everything else can remain exactly the same. See, I did all the heavy lifting whenever I created the HTML uh, CSS version of this website. So now I don't need to worry about changing that many different things. I'm gonna go in here, article title. I'm gonna be targeting because this is something new. Previously, I had everything all in the same types of articles and so forth. Well, that's not going to work very well. So I got to go color, F2. So that's the text color is going to change to like a grayish. I like using grays. It's a dark gray. Add some padding, five pixels. So I'm going to be targeting these titles that come inside of here. That's what I'm doing. Margin, left, going to be 90 pixels. I'm going to automatically make the text uppercase. And I'm going to make my font bold. 14 pixels, 17 pixels, Helvetica, sans, serif. And then text, and then I'm gonna come in here and style my font a little bit different. Make it bold, 24 pixels by 18 pixels, Georgia, serif. And I'm gonna make sure that I get rid of text decoration. Set that to none, so that that link doesn't have an underline because that's just god awful ugly. And then article content, font, 18 pixels, Line height, Georgia, and then that's going to be serif. Text color, OF, OF, OF. 
position relative so that it all just falls in line relative to everything else. And I want to make sure that I get rid of those bullets with list style none. Let's file save that, reload it over here. And you can see that stuff's starting to come together. Still really ugly, but we're going to fix that up. Don't need to make any changes to post images. Post excerpt, still going to be the same. Featured post, still going to be the same. Featured title, however, is going to be a link now, so we have to make that correction. Nothing else needs to change here, except since we turned that into a link that we're targeting, we got to get rid of the underline. Featured expert is not going to change at all, but we have this guy down here, and it's surrounded by a div. All of these eight little guys down here are surrounded by divs, so we need to come in here, and that div's called more posts. We need to create that guy, padding dash top 20 pixels and down here with recent posts look for padding bottom that's going to change to zero because of the changes we've made here recent title that's going to change to a link just like it has in the past and what do we have to do whenever we change something into a link text decoration none just like before and if we file save that guy you can see that everything is loaded in here the only little problem we're having is that there are no images inside of these guys right here. I can go in and fix that though. And I'm back. And after I uploaded those couple thumbnails inside of there, you can see that everything looks peachy keen. So in the next part of the tutorials, I'm going to fix all the other pages. Leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.